Fiber art is an art form as old as fiber itself. In recent years, fiber art has taken a turn beyond conventional and traditional boundaries into new creative territory. Internationally recognized and celebrated for the exceptional detail and vibrancy of her work, Sue Gilgan is one of this new breed of fiber artists. Fiber is a very important element to women. Um, we clean our house with it. We diaper our babies with it. You know, we, we make sure our families are clothed with it. It's, it's an integral part of our lives. And so for women to gravitate towards using fiber in an artistic way, is a natural way to go with, with uh, fiber itself. A lot of artists are turning to fiber uh, away from paper and, and paint, you know, because it is very, it's so tactile. It, you you want to go up and touch it, you want to look at it close up, you want to look at it in, far away. You know, there's, there's uh, lots of interesting three-dimensional activity going on with fiber. The beginning of, of any uh, project uh, uh, is, is really kind of the fun part because I have to first conceptualize what I'm going to do. It might have come from something I've seen or a, a um, collection of photographs. Then the next step is to find fabrics that are, that are appropriate for the subject. And I call it auditioning the fabrics. Hand dyed pieces have more spontaneity about them. The way the molecules diffuse themselves across the fabric, very much like the way stars move in the sky. I mean, the way something explodes, you know, uh, you never know how that particle of dye is going to look on the fabric. I always begin with a piece of muslin. I like to have sort of a clean slate. Again, it's uh, very much related to, I think, uh, what what a painter does. He starts with a clean canvas. And for me, that's that's part of the deal. I really gravitate towards the seasons, and when I think in terms of, of a landscape, I, one of the first things I think about is what season it's going to be in. I find summer to be very difficult. <laughs> uh, summer colors are difficult because they're kind of all the same, you know, everything's green. I often work in autumn. I love the colors of autumn. Living here in Madison uh, has certainly turned me on to that. Spring is, is also a lovely array of colors from the, the newness, the newness of the greens in spring are so attractive to me and the yellows that come into play in that. But I also enjoy the colors of winter, just using the neutral tones from white to black and gray and blue and so forth to uh, create something is, is, um, is very challenging and interesting to me. I have a huge affinity for plants and trees. I love trees. I don't know. I, I went on a trip recently to Hawaii and I took uh, pictures of such unusual trees and, and uh, the people I was with just thought I couldn't possibly take another tree picture, but, but honestly, I don't think you can take too many. <laughs> As I thought about the uh, wonderful people that would receive these awards, I guess I realized that if they love art, surely they love nature. And surely they love the Wisconsin landscape, or they wouldn't be here, <laughs> you know? And um, so I thought it would be interesting for me as an artist to do something in a Four Season panel. I wanted to bring a piece of, of Wisconsin into that art. That's why I chose the Wisconsin woods and the seasonal approach to it. To me, this is very much like puzzle work because sometimes you'll look at a piece of puzzle and you can't tell what it is until you get it, till you fit it in the spot that it needs to be. And then you realize what it's going to become. Sometimes I'm working for days and days and days on, on just little areas because maybe I'll think it's gonna work and then it doesn't work, I have to take it apart, do it over again. But that's the surprise, that's the fun of it. Art has to be fun. Otherwise, um, why would you do it? <laughs> Sometimes people ask me, um, how long did it take you to make this piece? And I'll say, um, it took me my entire life because I learned how to do that when I was five. I learned how to do something else when I was 20. I learned how to do something else just last week. So I don't know how long it takes to create something. It takes a lifetime.